Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. Uh, this is uh, video three in a series of videos about setting up your Wacom tablet. Now, in the last video, I left off one thing, and that was the mouse. And I just wanted to mention that I don't change anything on the mouse. The only time I use the mouse is when my regular mouse's battery runs out, and I don't want to get up and go get the batteries right then and I'll just switch to this mouse and it works fine as a replacement mouse. Okay, now what we want to go to in this video is touch. Okay, so if we click on the touch panel here, and this open up, uh, opens up the touch window, you have enable touch input right here. That is the place where you turn touch off or turn it on. If you click on it, touch goes off when there's no check mark. Click back, touch comes on. Okay? Now, I'm not going to talk about the options right now because I need to go into Painter and let's look at something there. So I'll minimize the Wacom tablets and I'm going to come up to Edit, Preferences. If you're in the Mac, in General. If you're in the Mac, you would go to Corel Painter and then to uh, Preferences, and then to General. In the General window, we have Enable Multi-Touch, uh, and you have to have a compatible Wacom device is required in order to enable Multi-Touch. Now, when I first saw that, I thought if I turn that off, I wouldn't have Touch in Painter, but that's not true at all. This Enable Multi-Touch is a little bit of a misnomer. What it does is it enhances Multi-Touch, okay? But it reduces the number of functions that you can do with Multi-Touch. So let's say OK and see if we can take a look at those. With two fingers, uh, it could be your thumb and index finger, it could be any two fingers down on the page, I'm sorry, down on the tablet, you can move and turn, you can pan, you can rotate, and you can uh, zoom. A double click of those two uh, fingers, or double tap, will return you to um, uh, well, it, uh, I thought it was supposed to just r make your image square again, square to the to the window frame. But what it does most of the time is it fills you or brings you back to. Um, uh, let's go up to Windows and get the name. It brings <laughs> out Zoom to fit, so that it zooms and fits you inside of uh, the window. Now. <clears throat> Why is that good, bad, or indifferent? Well, let me try to show you. All right, so let's turn off Enable Multi-Touch and say OK. Now, my two fingers will zoom, but notice that it zooms in increments. Also, the two fingers can rotate, but notice that the, it's rotating always from the center point, and that was not the case with um, the image turned on. I can pan, so everything seems to be the same, but let's look again uh, at the difference when I turn on uh, Edit, Preferences, General, when we turn Enable Multi-Touch back on. Okay, now I can look at how I'm changing the point, the center point as I'm rotating. I'm using the upper uh, right corner, but I could also use the lower right corner as the, uh, almost the center of moving. Also, notice how much smoother the zoom feature works than it did before uh, when uh, Enable Multi-Touch was turned off. That's what I meant by turning that on enhances these the three features of Pan, 
zoom and rotate and return uh, to the to your original position. It enhances those and makes them much better to use. Now, do you really want to use those or not? That's up to you. But we'll talk about utilizing touch differently in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.